Hello, everyone. I missed you. So it's been a while, obviously. We left Gainesville about uh, four days ago. Finally, <laughs> it took us a while to get out. So out of Gainesville, we rode about 60 miles to Running Springs Drive, where we camped for that night. I think we posted a video, found out the rain fly was leaking. So we've gotten a tarp and we got a lighter tent. So that is awesome. Uh, then we rode into Perry. Perry, Florida is very interesting. I guess it was the last place in the United States where there was a lynching and apparently they have an illiterate mayor. So, little background on Perry. However, the people were very nice and we ended up staying at a KOA after going to an all-you-can-eat buffet that had Wi-Fi. So, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> I don't think it could have worked out any better than that. So yeah, we stayed at a KOA, which is really hoity-toity and quite fancy for a campground, but we were very thankful because they had a hot tub and soak in our aching muscles. Mm, it was nice. Next day, we rode into Tallahassee. And on that day, which was Thanksgiving, we went to our couch surfer's house. Um, her name was Lisa Mooney. She was the best host we ever could have hoped for. So generous, so giving. I'm sure not just in the spirit of Thanksgiving, but because she is a remarkably generous person. She opened her home to us when we arrived there. There was a big, you know, layout of all the Thanksgiving food. There was a whole table that was just desserts. So, you know, I like that part. <laughs> and then her family was there. They were all very, very inviting and very nice. She also had a hot tub in her backyard. So we got to soak in the hot tub and she gave us some really great liniment to put on our muscles, on our back and our legs. It was really nice. The intention was to move on to Beck and Dan's house the next day, but we were so comfortable there and they kept inviting us to stay that we stayed three nights. Three nights. So I guess we left Gainesville six days ago, not four. Whoops. So yeah, three nights we were there. It was like being in a time warp. It was utter bliss. Everybody was sweet. There were little kids running around and you all know I love to play with little kids. So the little girls wanted to like make Christmas decorations and play with my hair. So that was really sweet. And John helped them put up all of their Christmas lights on the outside of their house. It looked really awesome. So they were super thankful for that. Um, we were just given free reign. We were essentially accepted as a family member as soon as we walked in. So it was really, really sweet. We had uh, our own room, two separate beds. It was really nice. <clears throat> From there, we went out to the Miccosukee Land Co-op, which is on the outskirts of Tallahassee. Really, really, really great people. Uh, Ed was the guy I talked to there, and he owns a bike shop that's actually within the community. Um, there's also a volunteer firefighter station. There's a community center that's really cool. It's like 370 acres, 107 families. They, a lot of them garden and have chickens and it's kind of out in the sticks. So what's really cool is they have all these easements and trails that go in between the homes. So you don't ever have to be on like a main road. It's like walking through the forest to a neighbor's house. It's really, really great. And all the people there were really sweet. We got their perfect night. They were having a potluck. Yum. Everything was delicious. Everyone was really nice. They played music. Um, we ended up sleeping that night in the bike shop, which was cool. And Aaron, my buddy Aaron, who I met through Catherine uh, a couple years ago, he has been hitchhiking from California to Florida and we intercepted ways and he actually passed us in a car uh, he got a ride from this really, really nice gentleman. Um, he passed us in a car on the canopy road that we were on. It was so bizarre. You know, here we are pedaling our way with our trailers and everything. And there's Aaron in a car just like, hey, do I know you? It was really cool. So he stayed with us that night. Um, he got going the next day, was offered a ride by uh, Ed's friend Bill. That was really nice. And the next day we went back into town because it rained that night. And it was supposed to rain the next day, which it did. And we got, finally got to stay with Becca and Dan, which was really nice. They made us delicious food, just good company. I finally learned how to play Bananagrams, which is an awesome game, by the way. I think I'm kind of in love. And, uh, yeah, got a really good night's sleep. This morning we woke up, got some uh, necessities. Becca was the one who gave us the new tent, which is, like, 
four pounds lighter than the tent that we had. So that is a serious upgrade. Uh, then we left their house this morning and we rode from there about 40 miles to Panacea, Florida. We're now right on the coast. I think it's called Ochlockany Bay. Mm, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it. I might post a link to where we are just so you can see what I'm talking about. But we're headed to Indian Pass tomorrow and then to Panama City and then hopefully to Navarre to visit um, CJ McDonnell, May's wonderful and amazing mother that I miss very much. Hopefully we'll get to see her. But if not, the next stop is Pensacola, and we get to stay with Adam and Jana, and I'm so excited to see them. Um, so happy Thanksgiving for everyone, and I'm sorry I missed the date. I hope it was glorious, and you realized you have a lot more to be thankful for than you, you know, think about often, because we all do. It's an absolutely beautiful world, and there are so many amazing people here. So yeah, we are off to Indian Pass tomorrow. Got some really cool videos up. Please check them out down below. Peace and love, all good things. Remember to ride a bike, buy local, grow your own food. Pitbulls are nice. I miss you. I love you. Infinite love and gratitude. Bye.